Rhinoplasty Swelling and Healing Stages Timeline Rhinoplasty is a common but complex procedure that heals in stages. In my plastic surgery practice, I have done thousands of both primary and revision rhinoplasties. Here's a quick guide and the do's and don'ts of aftercare in order to achieve the best results. What is rhinoplasty? Colloquially called a nose job, a rhinoplasty is a cosmetic surgery which restructures and reshapes the nose to bring it into more attractive alignment and proportion with the rest of the face. Rhinoplasty is one of the most popular and sought after procedures in plastic surgery, and for good reason. As the central feature of the face, an ill-shaped or oversized nose can steal focus from other beautiful features of the face, such as the eyes or the mouth. Modifying the nose to bring it into the ideal harmony with the rest of the face can have an incredible impact on a person's appearance and also on their general confidence level. How much swelling is normal after a rhinoplasty? The amount of swelling that you experience after a rhinoplasty will depend on the extent of the work done to reshape and resize your nose. But in any and in every case, especially in the first couple weeks following surgery, you should expect a moderate amount of swelling. Keep in mind that the swelling will obscure the new shape of the nose until that swelling goes down. So at first, your nose appears to look too big, too fat, and the tip appears too lifted. Don't worry about that. Hopefully, if your surgeon has done things correctly, your nose will settle into the correct proportions as your nose continues to heal. However, if at any point you're concerned that your swelling is excessive, don't hesitate to call your surgeon's office just to check. You may need this little reassurance. Do keep in mind that swelling may take several days after surgery to reach its maximum, so there is usually no cause for alarm if you're more swollen on day three than you were on day one. How long does swelling last after rhinoplasty? While every patient and every procedure is different, most of the swelling will go down after the first month following surgery, and about 90% of all swelling should subside within the first three months. However, and this is the trick, the full result of surgery is in the last 10%, not the first 90. And that's where the tip and the bridge definition is maximized. And this final definition may take 12 to 18 months. Although I discuss this healing timeline with all of my patients, and of course, this information is readily available on the internet, the most commonly asked question to me and the most commonly asked question on the internet two to three weeks after a rhinoplasty is, am I still swollen or will my nose continue to get smaller? The reason for this is human nature. People can intellectualize that their nose ought to be swollen for a while and you can talk to them about it, but they still want the final outcome as soon as possible. This makes them forget the previous conversation conversations that I have with them or that your surgeon may have with you, and they forget the healing and swelling timeline. At the three to four month mark, most patients feel their results are complete enough that they may feel comfortable and happy posing for things like wedding pictures and senior portraits. The final result, however, can take up to a year or even longer for your nose to settle and completely get into its new shape, its new position, and its new definition, especially around the tip of the nose where the skin is thicker, more delicate refinements may take longer to appear as swelling goes down and cartilage heals and reforms. And if you are having a revision rhinoplasty, healing may even take a bit longer than if you, this is your primary surgery. Still, most clients are usually thrilled with a result at four weeks. Is nose tip swelling normal? Yes, swelling of the tip of the nose is completely normal after rhinoplasty. The reason for this is purely anatomical. The skin and soft tissue of the nose is thick, the pores are larger, and it's sebaceous. It's densely adherent to the underlying cartilaginous infrastructure. The skin on the upper half of the nose is thinner and it's not bound as tightly. This makes the skin on the lower half of the nose take longer to reach its final outcome post rhinoplasty than does the skin on the upper half of the nose. Many patients notice that the swelling around the bridge of the nose improves more quickly than does the swelling around the nasal tip. 
as the tip is often the last part to heal completely. While the vast majority of all swelling should go down after a few weeks, subtle definition at the tip of the nose may take several months to fully develop. Is face swelling normal after rhinoplasty? It sure is. While the nose is obviously the site of the surgery and the site of most of the swelling, residual swelling is to be expected around other areas of the face. You may have bruising and puffiness around your eyes, your lower eyelids, even your upper eyelids, and your upper lip. These are the areas adjacent to the nose. But most patients find that this adjacent swelling resolves fairly quickly, usually within about the first week to two weeks. How can you help swelling reduce after rhinoplasty? Ice packs may also be used to reduce puffiness and discomfort, especially on the cheeks and the eyelids in the first 48 hours after surgery, but should not be used for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Ice can be wrapped in a clean towel rather than applied directly to the skin. While using ice packs after surgery, be careful to avoid any sutures and suture lines and be sure not to move or remove any splints or tapings and push them out of alignment. It is okay to be up and active as you feel able to do that, but take care to not overexert yourself. Also be sure to eat a nutrient-rich diet as you heal. Foods rich in an enzyme called papain, like fresh pineapple or papaya, can help the body eliminate bruises more quickly. Try to avoid salty foods, as they can increase swelling. Your surgeon may also employ different techniques during and after surgery to help reduce swelling and speed up the healing process, such as the use of platelet-rich plasma or injectable steroids, steroid injections. What are the healing stages of rhinoplasty? The initial healing stage after rhinoplasty is about 10 days. This is the period when you will need to be most vigilant about aftercare instructions and plan to take a break from most of your normal activities to allow everything to heal. After approximately 10 days, much of the swelling, the large swelling, and the bruising will have dissipated, and any lingering effects can be concealed with makeup. After about three weeks, you'll likely have no external apparent signs to others that you've had surgery. You may feel it, but others will likely not see it. And you can resume non-weight-bearing exercise. At three months, almost all the swelling, the large swelling has gone down permanently, and the nose looks basically like the final result without the fine definitional things. It will take a year or two for the nose to totally settle down and to totally define, but at three months, the vast majority of rhinoplasty recovery is complete. Do I need to find a rhinoplasty plastic surgeon near me? To ensure the best quality of care and technique, patients seeking a rhinoplasty often travel for the procedure in order to achieve the best results and the best experts. Because there are only a handful of expert rhinoplasty surgeons in the country, Patients should expect to look for their surgeon and to travel to a location that may be far away from them, such as Beverly Hills, for their procedure. Do you have questions? Email us at hello at sykesplasticsurgery.com. I hope to hear from you. I hope to see you in my office. And thanks a lot for watching.